Hello, my name is Matt and this is Bree. We're going to show you some basic fencing parries with these medieval longswords. They're blunt for fencing, so don't worry. Parrying is basically just another word for blocking. I'm going to show you something called the Iron Triangle because it's primarily to teach you to parry uh, to the three most important areas, which is each side and the head. So first, I'm going to cut to her head, then her side, then her other side, and you can watch how she parries. Make notice of what we do with our feet. Good. 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 So you can see that both of us were pivoting as we were fighting. And that's because when you're using something in a two-handed grip, pivoting helps get the weapon where it needs to be and to help it transfer to the other side of your body. It doesn't matter if you're cutting or parrying. You'll have to pivot if you're using two hands. You might have noticed that these move fairly quickly and look pretty nimble. And that's because, surprisingly, even though these are replicas, they're pretty close to the original thing, even though they're blunt. A sword of this type from that time period, the medieval period, probably wouldn't have weighed more than about three pounds, which really is not a lot. We have a little chihuahua that weighs eight pounds. So this doesn't even weigh half of one chihuahua. In fact, they're so light that if you felt like it, you could fence with them with one hand. What do you think? Okay. So we're going to do the iron triangle again, but one-handed. And you'll notice we don't pivot this time. And this time she won't know where the cut is coming from. And her job is to parry and then cut back to my head. Every time. Well done, thank you. <laughs> and thank you for watching.